Hi everybody, my name is Beth Tyson. I'm one of the midwives with Reply. Um, we just wanted to present some information to you as we've gotten a lot of questions from our moms and families about how COVID-19 is impacting your labor and delivery plans. So I just wanted to um, introduce our new series, Myth Busting Mondays. We're gonna talk about some of the things that are of concern. Um, a lot of the question right now is about how COVID-19 is impacting your labor and delivery experience. Currently, Wake Med Carry is permitting one support person and a certified doula to attend to you in labor. Um, of course, that does not mean that we will be less present with you. The reply team members will still be present and available to help assist you with your delivery, but these are super valuable people to have with you. The only restriction is that whoever starts your labor process with you must be there and continuously be present until you deliver. So you could not have like your mom start labor with you and then swap out with your husband towards the, the end. Um, so that's the one thing that you have to know. Um, other than that, um, the best way to be prepared is just with information. Um, and all of this is happening in an effort to be safe and help protect you guys. So um, some other things I wanted to address with you were how do you prepare for labor at Wake Med? Um, so I don't think that tours are currently happening given the number of people that were scheduled for tours, but they do have an awesome option for um, virtual tours. So that link will be provided and you can also just Google Wake Med Carry Labor and Delivery and look on the page to schedule or review the, the virtual tour. Um, the other thing is that you want to prepare like kind of um, a labor support bag and that can be a variety of things. As midwives and people who support physiologic birth, um, we definitely will allow you to eat in labor. So bring your favorite snacks with you, um, drinks that you would prefer. We also have some other things that I can show you here. So this is just one kind of example of like a salve or lotion that you can use for a massage or your partner can use with you um, because the priority is to stay nice and relaxed in labor that will allow you to be the most successful. Um, other things that we have are essential oils. So you can bring whatever scents you like you will need to bring your own diffuser as well, but um, you can use these on um, cloths with you in the room, diffuse them to create whatever kind of ambiance you would like. This is your birth and your process, so you want to make it as convenient and comfortable for you as possible. The other interesting thing that hopefully everybody has at home or can get um, some before you get to the hospital is just some rice. Super useful. Um, it's for using uh, a rice sock, which you can just use a regular sock that you have from home. Tube socks are kind of the best option for that um, as they're longer and you can create um, more unique positioning for that around your neck, um, across other limbs that may be in discomfort in your labor. But you're just simply gonna pour this, the rice into the sock and then you tie a knot at the end of it. This can be microwaved um, to be kind of a warm compress. It's super helpful um, and it's mobile. So it's useful anywhere you are in, in the labor unit, in your room, um, you can even um, drop a few bits of uh, drops of essential oil there and work with that as well for some additional um, scent um, and calming techniques for labor. Um, you want to be super comfortable, but you I endorse shoes, so you want to make sure to wear some kind of protective footwear in the hospital just for, for your safety. So these are very fashionable, but you can bring whatever you'd like with you. Um, the other thing, this is just a simple example of a ball, but it's um, useful to to bring with you like a tennis ball or some firm um, ball to use for a massage so that the person who's with you providing massage doesn't always have to use their hands and can get a break from that but still support you. Um, if there are other things you would like to bring music, um, there are iPads in all of the rooms so you can stream music for comfort. Um, but you do wanna create the most calming environment for yourself given that a lot of transition is happening around birth plans and your labor plans for the hospital. So this is something that you can bring with you, control all components of that and make yourself most comfortable with the hospital. So I know a lot of you guys are wondering what does the restriction around how many people can attend the hospital with me mean for your postpartum period. Um, right now that means that you may have to share the first few pictures of your baby with your family via text message or via FaceTime. But given that that's how we're communicating a lot right now under the restrictions just for our safety, in the hospital, outside of the hospital, that's the safest method to share the birth of your baby with your family and friends. So you can prepare for that with FaceTime, uh, Facebook Messenger, um, Zoom. There are so many avenues for you guys to share this exciting time with your families and we're there to help you walk through that process. 
Um, so if you have any questions, you can always address those with us in the moment. Um, after the baby is born and you guys are kind of settled. But the unique part of this interesting situation is that being alone with your support person or partner is that you guys will have more intimate bonding time. So that's really something to walk away from this experience being joyful about. That in those first few hours and, and day or two after your birth, that you're gonna know your baby more than probably any time ever because you won't have to share that experience with, with anyone. So it seems a little bit daunting, but in the end, that's ultimately a blessing that you get to spend so much time with your new baby. So we have to be creative, but in the year of 2020, it's not difficult to share um, this experience remotely. So that's something we can help you navigate. Um, and the other thing that we want you guys to know is that even though circumstances have changed, reply all of the providers myself included um, labor and birth is my ultimate happy place and so this is the moment in which we're here and we're midwives specifically are trained to just sit and be with women and families and so we are so excited for the opportunity to continue to support you um, in a time in which it may not be your family but we do hope that you think of us as family in the, the time that we've had to share and grow and learn about you so um, we want you to understand that we understand how difficult this may be for some in terms of how you thought your labor and birth may be, but we're here to support you completely. Um, and we will sit with you and be with you in all the moments, the happy, the sad, the hard, um, the pushing, but ultimately know that we believe in your capacity to do this more than ever. Um, and right now is your time to shine. So if you do have any questions, we are available to you 24 seven via our answering service. Um, you can call our office number at 930-2100 and press option nine, and that will connect you to the answering service. Or you can call directly at 984-207-3739 to, to go directly to the answering service. And those are 24 seven options for emergent concerns. Um, if you're experiencing flu or cold-like symptoms, you think you're in labor, you're having leaking of fluid, um, less emergent concerns, you can always send a message through your patient portal or call the office to speak with a nurse for triage during office hours. Um, but the most important thing is that we want you to remember, reply is always here with a listening ear, a supportive shoulder and a, and a smile saying you've got this. Thanks guys.